Three years have passed since the aliens secretly came on Earth, leading the way the United States, Russia, and China are fortifying their defenses around the planet. In order to ensure that no extraterrestrial object sneaks up on Earth again, a new satellite is being launched into orbit around the planet to monitor deep space. A mysterious alien ship with writhing tentacle-like parts is visible when the satellite unfolds. Unexpectedly, a shuttle leaves it, travels toward Earth, and enters the atmosphere. Meanwhile, a fishing boat with fishermen working and conversing can be seen somewhere in the water. One of them notices as the alien shuttle plummet as it passes over the lake. He keeps what he witnessed to himself. The shuttle is then observed moving like a submarine underwater. Yulia is pictured jogging with her dog four months later. The dog runs away as soon as they enter an apartment building and doesn't return when she calls. She instructs the soldiers in her company to assist in locating him. Her pal questions her later on when she's seated in robotics class regarding some fresh data from the lab. She threatens to have her guards shoot him right there if she divulges any information. Yulia's friend tries to tell her after class that he loves her but she purposefully stops him telling him that it will be safer if they stay friends. They are escorted to her father's automobile by her guardians. General Lebedev, Yulia's father, addresses her acquaintance and refers to him as Google. They drop the child off at Rostelicum after he boasts that he works there. When security demands to see his ID when he enters a building, it reveals that he is only an intern. Yulia's father is making jokes with her about getting her out of the country and sneaking her there, so she may hide out while they are still driving. She is opposed to him receiving a suspension. As they enter the Russian Ministry of Defense Research Center, a robot is seen crushing an automobile and breaking through the doors. Yulia's father inquires about it with a scientist at the facility. According to the expert, it's a form of biotechnology. A person is in control of the robot and communicating with it via comm. The general remarks that it's a co-production between Russia and another planet. The scientist goes on to say that Yulia holds the key to comprehending how everything functions. In the meantime, Yulia is engaged in an experiment within the building. She is questioned about her experience with the extraterrestrial spacecraft by the lead scientist, who keeps an eye on both her responses and her reactions actions. Her heart rate increases when he inquires about her companion who perished in the encounter, and it does so once more when he wonders why she assisted the extraterrestrial. When they inquire about her partner Artyom, she becomes agitated and refuses to respond. The lover is abruptly dragged into the lab. She becomes quite agitated when he speaks to her, and orders the scientist to end the experiment and remove her. As she strives to escape her limitations, he apologizes for killing her. A tremendous burst of strength appears as the scientist gives him encouragement while he continues speaking. When she is released, her father rushes into the lab and rescues her from the pool. Meanwhile, Artyom is being led away and wonders why he is imprisoned. When Yulia and her father speak later, she asks him to give her some alone time without her guards or anybody else in the area. After saying yes, he heads out and meets with Ivan, a soldier, who informs him that he must work the night shift and change into civilian clothes. Yulia is drinking in a bar that evening. Ivan joins her at the bar when she notices him and buys him a drink to let him know she's onto him. Before they depart, she gives him a drink, but a second man shows in and tells them they must go. Yulia is asked to accompany the man, who introduces himself as Haken, even though she is not interested in doing so. As Ivan and Haken begin to fight, Yulia strikes the soldier in the head, knocking him unconscious. After leaving the bar, she and Haken summon the extraterrestrial spacecraft soul. It follows them around and gets them a ride, getting them into a two-person vehicle. It takes control of the computerized vehicle and begins to operate it. Ivan follows them when Soul speaks with them on the communication device. With caution not to injure anyone on the road, the automobile manages to push Ivan away and moves on. Ivan uses a motorcycle to catch up with them once more, and phones General Lebedev to let him know what's going on. The general orders him to join them, but begins clearing out the Ministry of Defense's laboratory, claiming that the aliens had returned to Earth. Once they're back in the car. Haken tells Yulia they need to go off right away because they took the tests too far and that she's in danger. The car is traveling too fast and nearly strikes a pedestrian, but it stops in front of him and signals to the other occupants to exit. Ivan follows Haken and Yulia and shoots one of the wheels as they continue to drive. He wrecks a car, but Sol follows him from above and comes to his rescue. Ivan informs the general via phone that he misplaced them. Haken and Yulia are driven by Sol to a secluded location in the middle of the forest. Her dog appears out of nowhere to welcome her as she grudgingly enters. Yulia admits to Haken that she believed him to be deceased. He appeared to be the ex extraterrestrial that she had assisted in the prior meeting. He claims that everything went wrong the last time, after entering the home. They discuss how long he has been on Earth. He informs her that he has become accustomed to his new life. When Yulia answers the door after hearing a knock, she discovers it's Google. Even if he had already attempted to convey that to her, she is still furious. After their initial encounter, Haken was meant to depart, but he disregarded procedure and lingered on Sol, which is near to Earth, he informs her. While they are kissing and making love, Sol can be seen changing shape. It transforms into Ra. 
Yulia phones her father the following morning to let him know that she is with Haken. She begs him not to inform, telling him that she must go, since she no longer belongs on Earth. The general nevertheless gives his men orders to follow her signal. Yulia returns inside the house where Haken has breakfast ready for her. Haken and Yulia are inside the house when a tactical force surrounds it and prepares to storm it. Ra answers the phone and modifies General Lebedev's order to shoot to kill. The general tells them to stand down. After the unit enters the home and Haken defeats a few of the troops, they both make their getaway. At the river, his ship is operational and ready for them. Although Haken leaps in, the unit pursues them and shoots Yulia as she enters the ship. Haken takes off. Unexpectedly, a missile launch order is given for them, but Haken shoots the missile down in midair. Even so, the ship sustains damage as it plummets through the sky and into the river. When Haken reaches out to Sol, Ra informs him that Yulia must be destroyed before the ship can be repaired. Ra informs him that he must also be eliminated when he declines. As Ivan and the general attempt to catch up with them, Ra intercepts various forms of misunderstanding. They learn that space defense is pursuing the ship, and the general is unsure of who issued the order. Helicopters may be seen shooting at the ship as they charge toward the river and enter battle mode. Once back inside the facility, Artyom outwits his guard and gains entry to the robot, which he then takes and flees with. When he reaches a river bridge, he learns that a unit is pursuing the ship, and is prepared to shoot them down. Two helicopters shoot at the ship as it glides through the ocean. It shoots out of the ocean and descends through the atmosphere, carrying water with it. It eventually hits the earth with a crash. When Artyom and his robot suit run rushes at one of the helicopters and tears it to pieces, the helicopters are in position and are receiving a kill order from Ra. The general boards the ship to look for Yulia on the ground, but she and Haken have already made their way out. After he brings her to an ambulance, they come across Artyom, who notices her injuries and promises to get a doctor for her. Haken, though, informs him that water is all she really needs. When Artyom stops an automobile, they take it and leave the owner behind. Haken describes the power of soul and how it may manipulate human technology when they are driving. When Artyom asks what it wants, he replies that the only thing it wants is to get rid of Yulia. Yulia's father goes to the Ministry of Defense in the meantime, where a special meeting has been called. Asking why such orders were given when they were pursuing the ship, he storms out of the meeting. He is told to get in line by the Vice Premier, who also gives him the command to sit down. He then requests an explanation from the Space Defense for their conduct. They claim that the General gave the orders. The General's voice is heard on a recording providing the command. The Vice Premier gives the order to air the news at the conference, revealing the extent of the chase's destruction in Moscow. The Media is holding Yulia responsible for the events and has been showing a deepfake video of her, portraying her as a terrorist who supports aliens and poses a threat to the city. They disclose that not only is the video phony, but the entire news show is aired from an alternate location, rather than a TV station. The general informs them that it is being done by aliens. When he requests retaliation, the vice premier responds that he wants more proof to verify the action. General Lebedev requests the implementation of special protocols in the interim and states that they should exclusively communicate using analog technology. When the vice premier concurs, the transition process gets started. Haken, Yulia, and Artyom arrive at a supermarket at the same time to obtain water for her. Haken enters to make the purchase. Everyone's phones start ringing when he locates the appropriate type of water and approaches the register. Everybody in the shop is discussing Yulia and the potential terror assault. Everyone begins to receive the same information about her. They must track her down and destroy her. When Haken gets back to the automobile, a woman in the next car notices Yulia and reports her to a police patrol that is passing by. The police pursue them as Artyom drives off. While escorting the ship back to the Ministry of Defense, Ivan receives the same message. The fictitious communication informs him that his son has been hurt in an attack by Yulia. Ra floods the internet with the same information on Yulia, making her the public's number one enemy. A policeman stops by Google and inquires about Yulia. When they close the door, his grandmother asks him where he stashed his buddies after sending the cop on his way. Inside the closet was where they were. The following instant, Yulia is submerged in water by Artyom and Haken. He is informed by Haken that she is no longer human. He claims that her anguish is transforming her, giving her extraordinary, if not dangerous power. Ra wants to destroy her because it is calculated that if she dies, everyone else may be spared from her power. Later, Haken is purposefully made intoxicated by Google and Artyom, who then decide to take him to the Ministry of Defense. Google is left with no options in this regard by Artyom. When they get there, Yulia's father is waiting for them with a knife. Google gives in and informs him of his daughter's location. He approaches Haken and demands to know Ra's coordinates, which are known only to him. He then threatens to make him choose between her and his people. Ivan makes an effort to contact his wife, but he is unable. As the general enters and instructs his soldiers to set up an observatory and a satellite using the coordinates he received from Haken, he notices the news about Yulia. Ivan is instructed by the general to fetch Yulia and deliver her straight to him without telling anybody else. When the observatory finds Ra, 
The general gets in touch with the vice premier to discuss what to do next. They choose to fight aggressively, but in order to prevent it from catching up to them and causing more issues, they must destroy a satellite. Google is sent by the military to Rastelicum in order to destroy their satellite. They won't have much time left before the satellite reboots after it goes down. With an ultra-secret weapon that the vice premier says they don't even have, they will annihilate Raw. He is persuaded that there is no other option by the general. Yuli awakens in the meantime in the tub. Her injuries have healed. Ivan arrives at the door as she is about to leave Google's grandmother's flat. She is unaware that he believes she is to blame for the attacks while he is driving her somewhere. After revealing the knowledge to her, he threatens to kill her if his son does not. The command to launch the special missile and destroy the satellite is given by the general. They wait for Ra to be destroyed by the missile and celebrate when it does. The general, though, is not persuaded. He needs visual evidence that the alien spaceship has been destroyed in addition to a comprehensive report. People congregate in the streets and call for Yulia's prosecution in the interim. She is being driven through the mob by Ivan. Even after he finally brings her to the ministry to meet her father and other people, he still doesn't believe her. Ivan immediately resigns from his position, feeling let down by the general. Haken speaks with Ra over the phone. It informs him that since it doesn't think humans are deserving of anything, it is prepared for retaliation. Haken declines Ra's offer to fly back because he still has faith in humanity. A strong spacecraft begins wreaking havoc on the Earth, which is visible from every angle, including the Ministry of Defense Tower. Ra is upset with mankind for attempting to use its technology to produce weapons similar to Yulia. It starts to pour behind walls and forms a huge water dome around the part of Moscow where she is. Despite their best efforts, the military is unable to demolish the dome. People are told that their only chance is to climb as high as possible and stay on the building roofs. When they begin the evacuation process, Haken is instructed by the general to pick up Yulia and bring her to the rooftop helicopter. He therefore puts her in Artyom inside the chopper, but he stays inside the dome. Returning to the general, Haken requests his shuttle telling him that if he can hit Ra with it, he can attempt to destroy him. When the general realizes it's a one-way ticket, he wants to go instead, but he can't because only Haken can manually control it. While evacuating his men, the general stays behind to assist Haken in finding Ra. Yulia and Artyom jump out of the chopper into the lake as it starts to descend after losing altitude and having to land. Along with everyone else in the disaster area, they are hauled onto one of the roofs. As the water level rises, Yulia gives up because she can't bear the thought that she could bring harm to anyone. The others in their immediate vicinity hear her ask Artyom to kill her. Before the water enters the structure and fills it, the general is able to bring Haken as close to Raw as he can. When she gets back to the roof, Yulia is pleading with death to put an end to all the pain she had brought about. There, Ivan notices her and chases after her while brandishing a revolver. While attempting to defend her, Artyom is shot. Ivan loses his nerve as the water begins to close in on them. They are swept away by the sea. Haken is approaching Ra more and more, eventually accelerating the spacecraft in its direction. As Haken approaches the waterline, Yulia's bracelet activates, shooting jets of water in Ra's direction. As soon as Yulia pulls Ra out of the sea, military helicopters begin firing at it. As Yulia continues to push the ship outside, a military missile is launched at it, destroying it. Suddenly, people are climbing up for air as the water begins to recede. Additionally, the general is still alive. Ra is dying, so Haken's ship is forced back in the remaining water. He appears by Yulia on the roof. Once more, the day has been rescued and the extraterrestrial threat has been eliminated. The general attends his daughter's fictitious funeral in the last moments, and afterwards Kamchatka is passed over by a chopper. One individual takes the dog and exits the aircraft. The general is tracking an exact place, and upon arriving, he discovers Yulia and Haken. They embrace and discuss their next course of action. When Yulia makes contact with the sea, a spacecraft emerges from below. 